Hi, my name is Eden, and I'm currently taking a class on Eric Fromm. Um, it's sort of like an intro to psychology course. We're reading an array of his books, I'm including this book, To Have or To Be. Um, it's The basis of the book is all about what mode you live in, the having mode or the being mode, which he explains in a plethora of different ways. Um, I specifically want to talk about the um, loving mode and the the, how you can choose if you want to be in the having mode of loving or the being mode of loving. Uh, I think it's important that you understand what he's arguing. Um, so I'm going to read an excerpt that I really liked. So he says, Can one have love? If we could, love would need to be a thing, a substance that we can have, own, possess. The truth is, there is no such thing as love. Love is an abstraction. Perhaps a goddess or an alien being, although no one has ever seen this goddess, in reality, there exists only the act of loving. To love is a productive activity. It implies caring for, knowing, responding, affirming, and enjoying. The person, the tree, the painting, the idea. It means bringing to life, increasing his, her, or its aliveness. It's a process. Self-renewing and self-increasing. So, that idea is the being in love. Um, whereas having, which he goes on to explain, is um, a lot to do with uh, this possession and security that comes with love, as in marriages, um, or even arranged marriages, or as he kind of explains, marriages that people don't want to be in, but they feel like they should be in because um, it gives them that support. So what really made me think about it a lot was this idea that um, having is a bad thing, which he kind of says. Um, and as a feminist, I thought it was interesting because in feminism, um, Obviously, we feminism feminist would consider possession to be a bad thing. It's sexist. It's wrong. You know, um, we don't need that from. We don't want to be uh, contained by the man, by a man, um, which would come with the having. But I think that the security part is really left out. Um, I mean, in society today. Uh, it concerns me that in cities there's a 70% divorce rate, which I think is very sad to know that if I was to get married in New York City, there's a 70% chance it wouldn't work out. Um, I think that that shift in society has been fairly recent, um, and we've become a, such a kind of selfish world um, of people, really. Um, and I mean that in the best way possible as an idealist. Um, I think that this idea of um, having shown as a bad thing by Eric Fromm, who wrote this book in the 40s, I mean, um, that having is a bad thing is also a bad thing, it's a double bad. Um, I think that while the feminist side of me wants to say that having is bad, um, at the same time I believe that the creation of a bond you can have with someone else um, makes you give up a selfishness that I think is important to give up. Um, when I think of, I the best example I think of is my grandparents who um, were deeply in love for 59 years um, until my grandfather recently passed away, but um, they had such an intense connection. They were away from each other for four days in their entire marriage, um, which seems shocking to most people now, but, um, you know, they were possessed, I mean, um, there were possessions of each other, um, and, but at the same time, it was, they were in, so, so in love, and so I think that people now think that you can, you know, shop around for love and, um, you know, date everyone else, and you're an individual, and you can do whatever you want, and be whoever you want, I think that's ultimately a poor thing for society, because I think that this idea of marriage and the idea of being with another person um, for a long amount of time and giving up that um, selfishness for yourself and the individuality um, is really important for people and the future of the world. Um, and so I think that after I've really considered it, I think the having mode is just as, por just as important as this romanticized notebook-esque being mode. Um, and I don't know, I think that, I think that people need to reevaluate the, um, importance of 
you know, that security and the importance of what that security brings. Um, so yeah, thanks. <laughs>